away here in the not too distant future. What an opportunity for so many players. And never mind the veterans that might be eyeballing a chance to get back or trying to get to the National Hockey League across the seas. How about as a youngster? I mean, scouts love youth. Management loves youth. And what an opportunity to shine. If you can fit, if you can have some success in this tournament, boy, this could really bode well for your hockey future and really pay off financially as well if you can have a strong showing. All right, we're going to break down, look at some of these teams that are involved in some of the head-to-head -head matchups, and we'll do that in a moment. Yo, what up, people? It's your boy, The Live King, coming at you with a quick video. And in this video, I'm just breaking down the skill tree that i'm going to be using for be a pro got some gameplay for you guys afterwards uh, this is a long video but this is pretty much the intro for my be a pro so right now i'm just uh, messing with the skating adding a couple of traits on um, my player i'm mainly going to be focusing on the skating traits and the defensive traits in this video so as you can see, agility is one thing that defensemen need. So I'm putting that on there. Uh, I'm putting a defensive genius on there. I'm gonna pretty much put uh, all of these on. But, you know, Black Dynamite, he's going global. So he's that means he's gonna start in the CHL, in the Champions League. And um, he's gonna try to make his way through the NHL, trying to get that high draft pick and pretty much you know just you know try to make the season legendary you know that's why i call it the legend of black dynamite so see the one thing here you gotta put uh the medic specialty on there because last year i didn't do it and my player got injured like crazy so i, I noticed once i put the, that on there the durability is actually a lot better so since i'm young probably injury prone uh, just throw that on there so I, can, I don't have to miss so many games so as you can see you need the soft hands for puck control and all that and um, pretty much just focusing on skating and you know defensive skill sticks and uh, positioning and stuff like that all right so basically this is the conversation with the agent and uh, you know, you're just trying to find out where you want to end up in the NHL draft. You got to play your way through the CHL tournament. And, um, you know, the, the better you play, the more the more you're true to your word with these type of interviews and stuff, the higher you will uh, get your position in the NHL draft. So here's I'm talking with the coach. Uh, he wants to talk to me regarding the first tournament, understands the big deal for the team. And they give you two different answers here. You can pick between team and you can pick stars. So based on whatever you pick, it affects a lot of stuff in the game. So I'm going with a star. Really, if we lose, I think the team first uh, rather than me first. Black just uh, giving advice. That's what the coach is telling me. But, you know, as a player, you got to be more worried about your performance especially if you're trying to go from Champions League to the NHL. So I picked a star and that was the wrong answer. As you can see that the response flashed. So, you know, you got to think higher about yourself and, you know, you have to live up to your own expectations and expectations that the coach uh, wants you to play at. So you got to back it up. So here we go. When you look at the opportunities that present itself here for so many teams chasing the Champions League title, you know, how about from a youngster standpoint for a kid who might be draft eligible? This is playing in a tournament against grown ups, against men. You have a strong tournament, your draft stock could go through the roof and really hit a home run financially and move up those draft rankings. We'll take a look at some of those key names to watch here. Our draft analyst is going to drop by a little later on in the show. Hi, everyone. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Welcome to our EA Sports Showdown here tonight. Ray, I love how hockey has embraced the Champions League format now compared to soccer. I think it's a terrific tournament to lay out. Everybody knows what a true tournament looks like. Now you throw in teams from different countries competing. You've got a winner. 
Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. Puck is dropped, and we are up. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Gets the puck over to Black. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Can't keep a hold of it. With possession along the walls. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Feet in the arena, but they'll say good night after that exchange. Five minute major for fighting. Slides the puck over. Time to the penalty. Across the line from center. And he says no! Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Gives them nothing in front. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Getting closer to the half. Schlifty has got the puck in their own end. And they fail to go tape to tape. And they'll dump it in. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Puts him into the wall. James, there's a difference between getting by or getting crunched. He's a half a second from a great move. Instead, he got flattened. Handles the pass at center. Fantastic save! Scoops up the puck here. Let's bring in our own Carlin Babe, who's got the latest on social media. What are you seeing out there? Thanks, James. You know, your first game in the Champions League is going to be one you want to remember. And social media is remembering this as a great one for the rookie. Back to you guys. All right, thanks very much. Pretty good action. Schlifty has got the puck against the boards. Couldn't make that one happen. He grabs the puck here at the point. Doesn't even make a, the goaltender make the save. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill and manages to clear the zone. Now he takes it over the line. Point to point pass. Oh, there's going to be a regret in this one. That might be it. Yeah, that play is right there to be had. They just miss the pass. The scoring chance goes away. Makes a move in front. By the goaltender. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this trading. But as they go back to the bench, the power play will look at that and say, we did a lot of good things. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Keeps hold of the puck. It's a two-on-one. Grabs the puck. Pinned up along the boards. Takes the feed. Can't catch up to the pass. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Schlifty has gained possession along the boards. That pass doesn't go. Puts it in deep. Nice pass. Right out in front. Here's a shot. Stones him with the blocker. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Flurry. They fight for it along the boards. And it's freed up over to his teammate with a nice kick pass. Oh, he almost put him through the boards. Schlefti has got the puck along the wall. Here's a shot, and that one's turned away. Again, the denial by the goaltender. So, and play resumes as the puck is dropped. Oh, what a stop. Schlifty is going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. And a successful clearing attempt. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Over the line they come. Battle along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Black. Takes the feed. He scores! Well, they've been hoping that the extra work they've done on the power play would help them capitalize. They do a nice job there.
Really good maneuverability in a tight spot down by the net. He gets the pass and he one times that in from the low slot. part of this team and the coach has gone to him here James because they have got nothing going on it's been a flat listless performance yeah they've been absolutely lifeless out there they need a shock or something to wake them up save to deny nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter Brandberg's got the puck in his own zone smart defensive play there Rister, oh, denies him with the save! I think he got the blocker on it! I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. And now it's over to Black. Makes the puts it into the back of the net for the goal! Yeah, breaks this tie, Jake. You know when these teams get locked up tight, sometimes it stays that way a long time. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Shalifti has got a hold of the puck. Shalifti has got it in their own zone. Steps into the offensive end. Nothing doing on that. Great defensive effort with the strip. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Scooped up along the wall by Fleury. This is a terrific shot. He beats the goaltender, but the goalie gets a chunk of it. Not enough. He can't slow it up. Cutting to the front of the net. They score! He walks like a champion, talks like a champion, and scores like a champion. Well, you know I love goals, James, and I was just watching this kid in warm-up, and man, he doesn't miss. He gets a chance, he puts it away, and he's done it here in the Champions League. All kinds of bodies in front of the goaltender. I don't think he gets a clean look at this as the power play zips a puck around the zone, and they cash in. Back downstairs before the next face-off, we get to Ray Ferraro. Ray? 
Well, the kid comes back after his last shift and he gets a tap from the coach because he's done a good job. The coach gave him some specific instructions and it's not all the try inside the offensive zone. Big time stop gets a blocker on it. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Chalefte has got the puck in the defensive end. And he can't hang on after that hit. On the attack along the boards. Chris one in close. Stones him in front. No, I think it's in. Moves with the puck at the corner. Sends the pass over. Chalefte is moving it along the wing. Here he is from the slot. Nice block. And they fail to go take to take. Here's a sprint for the loose puck. Schlifty has got a hold of it along the wall. And we are all over with this one tonight. Ray, it's funny. Conventional wisdom from a hockey standpoint. When you have an off night, you just throw it out the window, they say. Not, Not this one. <laughs> no way. They always have said for years in the playoffs, doesn't matter if you win 4-0 or lose 4-0. Well, it does now. Every goal counts in this aggregate total series. We are far from done from this tournament for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Slabalski. We'll see you at the next game. Go Champions League's officially underway. Game number one in the books. And look at this youngster who there are a lot of eyes. There was a lot of hype and getting a lot of buzz from a draft stock standpoint. And I'll tell you what, if he continues to play like this throughout the tournament, his stock will go through the roof. And keep in mind, here's the difference for kids playing junior back in North America. This youngster is doing it against men. And if you're holding your own and then some against men as a teenager, boy, that's next level. And his draft stock could go sky high. All right, we'll take a look at some of these other scores around the league.